Oh well. What was that noise? Yeah, that's my phone. And uh, I got to say, if, if for all the and all the problems anyone might have with Samsung, mm-hmm. the biggest problem is its notification sounds. I was going to say, <laughs> so, I was like, that sounds familiar, but I can't quite place it. Yeah. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Let me uh, do not disturb this. I would like to say that's me texting you, but I, I didn't even bring yeah, my phone yeah, down yeah. here. <laughs> Brad just text, starts texting. <laughs> now I know. So Intel anyway. made a, a pretty ballsy choice. What's that? Rocket Lake. Are they, are they familiar what happens with a lot of rockets? And especially in the early days. Yeah, I didn't I didn't put this into the article, but obviously it's not out yet. So why would they even announce this now? Right? Yeah. It's probably because AMD is announcing something today or tomorrow mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Okay, fine. Yeah, there's Zen 3. I think they're kind yeah, of an event. There's for. been some criticism. Like Intel, the way Intel releases chipsets is they do it in kind of waves. And so they often start with like the mobile processors, like U series, mm-hmm. and then they kind of pad it out over the next, you know, six months or whatever it is. So these are the the gaming class, probably H series PC or chipsets that will be coming out for desktop PCs gaming desktop PCs um, in the spring, but you know, there's still, I, th- I think there's still like 14 nanometer. I mean, th- these are like, you know, these are the big boy old school. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I hesitate to call them big iron cause I'll be called on that. But I mean, big you know, for in the PC space. Yeah. They're the old uh, school guys. They're the, they're the entrenched. steam engine roaring down the track, you know, mm-hmm. killing the, the trees die as it goes by. Sorry. That was my wife's Volkswagen, not the train, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thought you were saving the world. So speaking of killing trees, um, so I had to take my car in, which this was already pre-planned because I had to get a new windshield. I knew that mm-hmm. the day of. But what's it's different with a Tesla because it's not really different, but it's just on the app. Like you, you take pictures of like this shit needs to be fixed, and then like you take it there and you tap your key key on the little thing, and then it says okay, here's all the stuff we're doing and all that. Like it's it's like a nice experience. But here's what I'm getting at. So I know that they're working on my car this morning because when I went to turn on Spotify, my car was a target for the audio. Interesting. Because meaning that it's on, or meaning that somebody's working like actively on the car because that means it's on. If you're not familiar with Spotify, uh, is built into like the little entertainment thing, and so it like becomes a targeted point. So I thought about just like playing some music for these guys. That's what I was gonna say. Like you know, like upload a recording of your voice. (laughs) Hey, buddy. You be gentle. Put gloves back on and be careful. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, you know, killing trees and all that. Um, sure. Anyway, so I, where did this come from? Surprise! Microsoft news is a success. I missed this one. I know. I sort of read that. You see, five hundred fifty million users, and you're like, seriously, there are five hundred fifty million people using the the Microsoft News app. You know. Well, I mean, how many were using Edge? Or did, what was that? Yeah, it was less than that, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I, whatever, but Old yeah, edge. okay. But actually, so you have to. This is the list. So this is this is how you generate users. Like, and some of these are crazy. So it, Microsoft News is actually a service, right? It's not just the mobile app. So these stories, which you know are curated and they do whatever mm-hmm. they do, come from <laughs> MSN, Bing News, Microsoft Edge, probably the homepage. Yeah. You know, when you have news things, uh, Microsoft Launcher. The Windows lock screen? The uh, the Windows lock screen? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. The apps for Windows, iOS, and Android. And, and this is like their words, mm-hmm. popular third-party mobile OEMs, mobile carriers, and browsers. So basically, any time that a sentence of text yeah, is what's left? spat out on the internet somewhere from Microsoft News, user. So... That's the old, that's the, the Twitter metric. They used to, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to, like I did this this morning. If you take someone's tweet and embed it in like a news post or whatever, yeah. they were starting to, at one point, and I don't know if they still do this, they were they considering were that everybody that read that news post was a now a Twitter user. So they actually, they fixed that, didn't they? Because wasn't there some controversy about uh, people, yeah. oh, maybe that's unrelated. It was uh, people who were uh, like reposting stories they hadn't read. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like. Uh, oh, no, like, that was slightly different. But yeah, this yeah, was, that was yeah. a different thing. So, okay, <laughs> I, I'm i guessing that the actual apps probably have tens of millions of users or something, which is still fine. It's fine, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and really, the uh, the point of this is to show the news industry 
that there is this viable source of news distribution, uh, which, by the way, pays uh, news makers, uh, the, the news writers, I should mm-hmm. say. Um, and, uh, you know, how much? I mean, the entire industry has been paid $1 billion in six years. So, you know, it's not yeah. it's not like uh, New York Times, you know, sustainable stuff. But, uh, you know, the point of this, of course, is that it, uh, it, it broaches the whole uh, range of news writers that there are from people like you and I who are small, uh, mm-hmm. uh, small fish, I guess, to, you know, the bigger organizations, Bloomberg and yep. whatever's in there. I don't know who's in there, but yeah. Anyway, okay. Okay. This is what it's always like. This You could go back 20 years. You talk to people from like MSN, mm-hmm. com or whatever, and it's like, they're like, yeah, like a billion people see this thing every day. And you're like, really? I'm like, yeah. And I mean, they're still around. I know. Yeah. It's a weird, weird way to look at it, but whatever. I mean, the way it gets. Yeah. Every once in a while, they just poke their heads out of the ground. Like, hey, we're still here. <laughs> Look at this button. There's a dollar sign over here. We made it. <laughs> we, we, we made that. <laughs> we made that. Speaking of dollar signs, whatever. Samsung had a good quarter. I mean, that's... Record quarter. Yeah. Sold some, sold we'll some stuff. I don't know if you're familiar with Samsung, how they report this. It's a, I think it's a South Korean legal thing. But um, they actually do an estimate of their quarterly earnings the week before the official announcement. And hmm. that estimate is just profits and revenues. And it's always... Right, <laughs> you know, because the yes, the range is there's some range that's very close, you know, very short yeah. range, and they they estimate it right in the middle, and so next week they'll say the real thing. But the important thing for next week is we're actually going to get some numbers, not just profits and revenues, but how the different business units. <clears throat> but we'll see, you know, I think their chip, chipset business has gone gangbusters this year because, well, largely because of Huawei, which is buying buying up chipsets, mm-hmm. well, again, and then Apple, which is using. Um, Samsung fabrication a facility yep. to make their A14 chips, I think it is. Uh, but they're probably the number one uh, smartphone maker in the world again, right? And briefly, it was Huawei, but I think we all understand <laughs> that's not gonna, that's not gonna last. So is the A14 the new one that's gonna be in the iPhone? I believe so. You yeah, know what they should do? <laughs> they, they should come out and announce this thing like we're putting the A14 into our iPhone, but don't be confused. This isn't 14 nanometer. We're not Intel, and then just. <laughs> A little soon. They're still partners. Yeah. But they won't do it, but I thought it would be, you know, funny. Yeah, because they, they announced the five nanometer thing at the September event, didn't they? Isn't that when Apple came out so. with and said five nanometer? Is it Samsung that's building the chips? I thought it was like that other one, the TWSC or whatever it is in Taiwan. I thought that was. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be wrong. I think right? Samsung might be doing. I don't know. Like, it's so hard to keep. Track of now writing. I have to fact check that. Thanks, buddy. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah, you know what? I'm so sure of myself. And why don't now... I have the Jeopardy music pl- program? This thing? Because that <laughs> would be. You. God, damn it! I think it is the new Taiwan Semiconductor yeah, company. Yes, MC. But I think Samsung does have a part because they were building uh, something. I might why? be the displays. I don't know. Why? I mean, all you got to do is guess. It's either Samsung, LG. No, it is Foxconn. TSMC. You're right. No, Suck it, Barack. Yep, yeah, you're right. Now I gotta fix this. <laughs> uh, in other other news, there was a very weird um, PS5 teardown by Sony itself. They didn't give it to a third party. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one thing I took out, I mean, there's they showed how you upgrade the internal storage, which there's a whole like grand hoopla about like. Well, it's so much easier on the whatever Sony because it's whatever just an M.2 drive. But I think everyone forgets it has to be a Sony, I think, certified M.2 drive. So we don't even know what those things are going to cost. But anyways, the one takeaway, if you haven't looked at it yet, go look at the heat sink in this thing. It is the size of Texas. And it kind of <laughs> it kind of explains why the Series X is literally just a box with a fan because they were yeah. they were dealing with the same thermals. I guarantee it that Sony was. I, I think it's the same technology that Rolls Royce uses in its uh, airplane engines. You're basically <laughs> just funneling as much air as you can, and it's enough mm-hmm. to move a plane. Um, but I, I, you probably saw this. So, someone reported that they burned their hand just touching an Xbox Series X. It what? was so hot. I haven't. I have not seen that. That'll be. There's no way. I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe I mean, there is. Look, Who knows? Cooling is the issue here, right? Yeah, and AMD is not exactly known for running like the coolest chipsets on the planet. And Microsoft's not exactly uh, the holder of a proud tradition of you know doing <laughs> these things right on the first gen. I mean, yeah, I don't know. 
anywho, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, yeah both these things are going to run really hot. I mean, unless they're, you know, I'm surprised that no one did liquid cooling, honestly. Well, Sony's kind of, well, it has the same thing, I, th- I think, as... I- cooling system or something it's like the liquid metal cooling stuff but i but didn't like the 950 lumia 950 have something mm-hmm. like that yeah, the vapor chamber thing yep so yeah yes it did yet again sony copying microsoft technically nokia <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs>